It was a mild but mixed day on Wall Street. Treasury yields and oil prices dipped. Still fears over COVID impacts the markets. The Dow dropped more than 97 points to close at 32,438. The S&P 500 fell a little over eight points to close at 43,87. And the Nasdaq closed up more than eight points to close at 14,681. And August, if you didn't know it, is Black Business Month. It's a month when consumers and companies are encouraged to patronize Black-owned companies. The idea started with two entrepreneurs back in 2004. One of them is Frederick E. Jordan. The other is John William Templeton. They told Black Enterprise Magazine they created the month because Black entrepreneurs face additional hurdles when trying to make their business a success. And the final troops are arriving home from America's longest war. As we hear from BNC's Shannon Lanier, for many Afghan war veterans, they are facing an uncertain future. After nearly 20 years in a nation sometimes called the Graveyard of Empires, one organization is helping returning vets potentially create an empire of their own. It's called Bunker Labs, and it's made up of people like Charlinda Scales. I'm a disabled veteran. And most people would look at me and they're like, oh, no, you're, you know, you seem young. You don't seem like anything physically is wrong with you, but I'm 70 percent disabled. But another veteran would understand that stigma of not looking the way that you feel and not uh, being able to see the challenges that you go through every day just to appear normal. With the help of Bunker Labs, which is basically a free incubator for veterans, Charlinda built a business called Mutt's Sauce. Mutt Sauce is an all-purpose line of specialty sauces. It's called the sauce for every meal. But how does Bunker Labs work? Marine veteran Sumit Singh Chauhao explains it. Uh, the idea was those of us that served in the military were part of the largest network of people ever, and we never leveraged that platform after we left the service. And Sumit adds, just as it is with your mission overseas, transitioning to civilian life doesn't have to be done alone. So I tell you when you're coming home, find a group, find a veteran, find a community that you can plug into. But if you're not trying to start your own business, but start your civilian career, veteran Alex McKendra says, make sure your resume is not filled with military jargon that civilian hiring managers won't understand. You should, however, play up what you bring to the table. So for example, um, if you had a lot of great leadership opportunities, make sure that's very clear. Make sure people understand that you led different soldiers in battle, you may put decisions, you made an impact on the ground, just so they, they as people in corporate America can easily understand how your many great attributes can translate into success in the boardroom. But when you get the interview, Alex says, make sure you speak up. The military culture teaches people to be humble, which I think is very good. However, military veterans need to make sure that they don't undersell themselves. Alex adds that veterans shouldn't dismiss huge companies like J.P. Morgan when looking for a job. We lead what's called the Vets Job Mission, in which we partner with other leading companies in the country to help hire military veterans. And again, we've hired 680,000 and we're training towards a million. But back to Shard Linda with the condiment company. She says joining an organization of veterans has emotional benefits as well. People like me and Bunker Labs are here to help you and guide you in whatever direction you want to go. By the way, there's no charge to join Bunker Labs. It's a 501c3 organization that uses fundraising to keep helping veterans. They don't take a piece of the business. They just want to make you whole. Shannon Lanier, BNC. And they're also starting something new at Bunker Labs. Veterans can apply to be part of the first CEO circle. That's where veterans who are CEOs can exchange ideas and support. And the applications for that group will close on Friday, August 6th. So if you're interested, just go to BunkerLabs.org and pull down the program menu for the application. And stay with us, everyone. Much more news is straight ahead. You're watching BNC.